All right. National champion. How's it feel? <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I, I didn't really want to downplay this moment just because the U.S. has such great athletes and I haven't won a U.S. title before. But um, it was just really amazing to go out there and have like a really fun race to win it too. And uh, yeah, I'm just super pumped about it. You had to fight for it, that lost 200. Can you walk me through that? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I obviously, I didn't really know where people kind of were and then like Joe kind of like popped out of nowhere and I was like, dang, that was like a good move right there. It was very, I really appreciate it because I'm just like, you know, college kids and just, I mean, I was a college kid like last year. So just cool seeing um, college kids just going for their moment. And, uh, but I, I, I feel like I had like a couple more gears left. And so I was kind of able to, I felt pretty confident even when he did pass me. It just, as long as I didn't let everyone pass me. Uh, and then uh, I was able to just come away with the win there. So. What was your plan coming into the race? Um, kind of similar to last time, just uh, make it like relatively honest. I to, think the I, semi, to the semis, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yes. similar to the semis. Uh, I just wanted it to be like, like probably like around like a 335 race. Um, and you know, that's exactly what happened. I just kind of kept it out, not going too hard, but like keeping it relatively honest so it didn't like bunch up. And uh, yeah, yeah, so you know, I feel like it's better that way. There's less confusion. <laughs> How redeeming does this feel after the Olympics and you know last year obviously not going exactly how you wanted here to yeah. finally be on Team USA again. No, yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, you know, I just I feel like now that I'm officially a been a professional for like a year now and just uh, have really just been, you know, really training for a moment like this and where the expectation is now we're going to Budapest and we're thinking about that. Um, it's still just a really fun race to come out here to USA's and really just give it my all and give some of them the best. So, so the fact uh, yeah. that we talked about after your first race, like you get the, you have the record, and now you have this, right? But you know, because those are never one and the same. You know, the, the record races are international and you know super fast and paced and whatnot. And this is like capital. Like, how proud are you of the fact that it's like that, that you're checking off both boxes? Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I feel like you know, I don't want just fast races to only be in Europe. I feel like that kind of sucks. Um, it's definitely a little hard, obviously, just, you know, hammering it out yourself, but I have enough confidence in my strength to really just go and do that and just uh, make it at least, like, decently fast. I would have been a little faster if I, I don't know, but uh, it, was, it was still good. I'm still happy about it. Those <laughs> last couple of years, what was the most difficult point in the last couple of years, you know, how'd, how'd you get from there to here? I mean, I feel like the, the hardest part was only just I guess the beginning, like last year at this meet when I got um, 11, it was, cause that was a point where I'm just like, like I've been kind of dealing with basically a year of just like on and off injury stuff and all that stuff. And I didn't want that to kind of roll into my pro career at all. Um, but I think once I was able to kind of relax, focus up and just get back into it again, I was able to, you know, have like a pretty amazing season starting from that summer into the winter and now into the summer. So. It's been, it's been pretty smooth sailing since then, so I'm pretty happy. You've raced Jakob now, so what are you expecting for Worlds, you know, the rematch there? Yeah, I mean, I'm expecting a very similar race to this one, except like five seconds faster. I mean, I think, like, it's no secret what Jakob likes to do is just hammer it out, even if he doesn't have a pacer, I guess. Uh, but, you know, I feel like I'm still definitely in contention to medal with just how I've been racing so far. Um, and so I'm definitely just going to put myself in that position. And, you know, see what I can do. You've been the best American all year long. You come in, what is it, how is it different coming into this year's champs? Is you kind of the guy to beat, the favorite, versus the last two USA's you've been in? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a fun little change of mindset. Um, going from like just barely hanging on a year ago to just now being expected to come out and lead the race and win the race. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's still really fun either way. I feel like whether you're chasing or you're being chased, it's just still, a really fun race to just come out and just see what you can do um yeah i think it's obviously like a different kind of pressure but um not one that i'm ever afraid of so when do you consider yourself the american record holder because there's been some debate on this subject <laughs> i've <laughs> i've just been saying north american record holder until i get bernard legat's other record and then i'll start saying american record so it's called what you want i don't really care so is a 327 <laughs> attempt coming? Is that what you're saying? Well, probably not this year since it's just London and then Worlds. So probably not this year. But <laughs> will will On pay you an American record bonus for that? Um, I think so. <laughs> Have you heard from Bernard at all since you know you've been approaching his times and all that? I don't think so. No. I mean, I I don't really check my DMs that much. Hopefully, <laughs> he hasn't DM'd me. But um, prob I, I don't think so. 
I've talked to them like a couple of times at like USATF conferences, but yeah. The coffee, the coffee club boys were recently talking about the merits of having a U.S. championship, which you really have to go through the ringer in order to make the team, versus a straight selection process. Which do you think is preferable in terms of having a successful world championship? Is it an advantage for Jakob to not have to do something like this? Is it an advantage for him? I mean, uh, I think he probably doesn't care either way. It's very similar because, I mean, he probably... I'd hope he'd like run a little slower for his Norwegian championships than like, you know, just getting selected. Uh, but, you know, I feel like at the end of the day, it's just like another race. And, um, you know, we're all strong enough to take a couple more races under our legs if need be, or if not, and skipping out on that. Um, I personally would never want to skip out on USA's, but that's just me. <laughs> What's this hippopotamus? Is there a story behind that? No, um, some person just gave this to me <laughs> when I was doing my victory lap, and I was like, oh my god, I love stuffed animals, so I just took him, and now he's mine. And his name is to be determined. <laughs> uh, what's your racing schedule look like between now and Worlds? I think I'll do the Lon London Diamond League, is um, the only one we have official right now. Um, Maybe another small one, but it just depends. But I think he just wants us to get a good yeah. block of training in before Worlds. So. Yeah, will you like? Will you be based in Europe for the rest of the summer, or in Boulder, or where will you be? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, after London, I'll, I'll primarily be in um, San Bruce, just training up there. Cool. Sounds like the goal for Worlds is a medal. That's, that's the goal? Yeah, okay. I mean, I feel like that was... I mean, it's a goal for everyone, obviously, but I feel like um, right now I, I feel very confident in my ability to go and achieve that goal, so... Do you have a rich impression of what he said to you after the race? <laughs> what he said to me? Oh, God. I'm not good at the Ritz impression, but it's like, God, you give me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. I was like, come on, I just made it fun. You know, like, it's running. <laughs> well, what's the best Ritz impression? Probably Ollie. He's, he's most notorious, I would say. So, yeah. <laughs> so is it fun for you when you're battling for the win, or is it stressful? Like, what's the emotion? Uh, I know, obviously it's fun. I, I come into every race, like, telling myself, like, have fun. That's what we're here to do. Like, nothing else really matters. So, um, you know, when, when Joe passes me, I'm not like, like, oh my god, I'm not gonna win. Like, it's like, oh good, I have, like, I have something to fight for, like, right in front of me. Versus, like, I don't know, if I was just, like, alone and just, like, kind of kicking it in, it wouldn't be quite as, as exhilarating for me. So, it was, it was a really fun race. I really enjoyed it. So, wait, do you think you gave him Ritz a quote-unquote heart attack today? I mean, I guess. I don't know why. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like he, like, you like you have the strength to do it, but like I have a kick too. I'm like everyone else. <laughs> so he told you that after this race. That he had a heart attack. Well, or? you know, like joking, but that's what he oh, said. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so do you, do you get nervous for these things? It seems like everyone's U.S. final 1500 is very cutthroat, like very intense. But you seem pretty relaxed about it. I mean, it's easier now after the fact, but like, <laughs> but I still think, um, you know, I. Even if like I didn't come with aspirations to win, I'd still be coming in like very just like you know, that's how I come into every race really. I just really want to have fun and try like keep the nerves at bay by seeing them more as like excitement than nerves. So um, yeah. All right, congratulations. congratulations.